earlier we were working on how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here you can multiply this directly as x times x becomes x square and over 5 times 5 as also 5 square and equals to this side as well 5 times 5 that's 5 square then over x times x equals x squared the next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared, then equals to 5 squared times 5 squared. Then also from here, same thing multiplying, just like when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. That is here, we can write this as x squared or square, then equals to. 5 square or square. The next step here, and take the, le the right hand side here to the left hand side, and this becomes x square or square minus 5 square or square now equals to 0 from here. Then, yeah, this follows from difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square. The same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. At this here, a is standing as x squared and b standing as 5 square. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x squared plus 5 squared into bracket, then open bracket x square minus 5 square close bracket equals to 0 from share. That is, here yeah, we have two possible cases. The first one, x square plus 5 square equals to 0. Or we have x square minus 5 square equals to 0 here. That is, Solving from the first case here, this follows when we have a square plus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b i into brackets, then open bracket a minus b i, which implies here yeah, follows this and becomes x plus 5 i into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5 i close bracket then equals to zero from here that is here also we have two cases we have x plus 5i equals to zero or we have x minus 5i equals to zero here that is from here we have x equals to minus 5i which is a complex solution also here we have x equals to 5i, also a complex solution here, which implies we have two complex solutions from here. Then, solving from the second case as well, this f square minus y square equals to 0. This also follows from difference of two squares. That is, when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. That is here, this becomes x plus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5, close brackets, now equals to 0 from share. Then, here we have two possible cases x plus 5 equals to 0 or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here on this side it implies we have x equals to minus 5 which is a real solution here and here we have x equals to 5 which is also a real solution here And hence we have two real solutions as well. So when we write the solutions out together, we have x1 equals to 5, 
x2 equals to minus 5. Then from the complex, x3 equals to 5i. Then x4 equals to minus 5i. So here we have four solutions all together, two real and two complex. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. We substitute the values of x here. The first one x equals to 5, and this equation becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 is equals to also here we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 and 5 over 5 here that is 1 times here also we have 1 is it equals to here this also give us 1 times 1 and here 1 times 1 same thing as 1 which is equals to this side as well 1 times 1 that's 1 hence we have left hand side equals to the right hand side hence x equals to 5 satisfy this given problem now also we substitute x equals to minus 5 then what we have becomes minus 5 over 5 times minus 5 over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5 then yeah minus 5 over 5 same thing as minus 1 times also minus 1 is it equals to 5 over minus 5 we can also write it as minus 1 times also minus 1 minus times minus as plus and 1 times 1 that's 1 so this is plus 1 which is equal to same thing here minus 1 times minus 1 that's plus 1 hence also left hand side equals to the right hand side then x equals to minus 5 also satisfy this given equation then next we substitute x equals to 5i and what we have becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i then here yeah, 5i over 5 simply we can write it as i times also i is it equals to 5 over 5i we can put it as 1 over i times also 1 over i which implies i times i same thing multiplying that's simply i square then is it equals to here yeah, 1 times 1 1 over i times i i square and we should note that from root 1 root minus 1 which is equals to i when we square both sides it means i square it's now equals to minus 1 so here instead of i square here yeah, we write minus 1 and is it equals to here yeah, also 1 over minus 1 and this is minus 1 it is equals to 1 over minus 1 also is minus 1 hence we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side that is x equals to 5i also satisfy this given problem then we substitute minus 5i as well then what we have here becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i then here yeah, minus 5i over 5 we can write that as minus i times also minus i then is it equals to 5 over minus i you can write it as 1 over minus i times also 1 over minus i then minus i times minus i that give us plus i square then is it equals to yeah 1 times 1 that's 1 also minus i times minus i that's i square then since i square equals to minus 1 here we have minus 1 is it equals to 1 over minus 1 then yeah this minus 1 
which is equals to 1 over minus 1, same thing as minus 1, left hand side equals to the right hand side and ends here. Minus 5i also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.